New details tonight of Israel's accusations that U.N. workers took part in the October 7th terrorist attack. Multiple sources confirmed to ABC News Israel sent a dossier to foreign capitals alleging at least 12 workers for the U.N.'s largest aid agency in Gaza. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency participated in Hamas's rampage. The five-page intelligence report accuses some of the U.N. workers of kidnapping while placing others at the scene of massacres and at least one move weapons for Hamas. The U.N. has not denied the claims, but they say that they have fired those employees. Joining us now to discuss this is the executive director of UN Watch, Hillel Neuer. Uh, Hillel, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, UN Watch is a nonprofit organization dedicated to holding the United Nations accountable to its founding principles. Are you at all surprised by these findings? Sadly, I'm not. For mm. nearly 10 years, we have documented promotion of jihadi terrorism, hatred, and anti Semitism among teachers, school principals, and other employees of this agency, UNRWA, UNRWA, the UN agency that's supposed to take care of social services for Palestinians in Gaza, the West Bank, Lebanon, and other places. And we have submitted it to the agency's representatives, submitted it to the United Nations, and for 10 years, Lindsay, they attacked us. If they really are guilty of, of these accusations here, why would they simply be fired? Why wouldn't there be further action taken on them? Well, look, we're getting conflicting approaches. On, on the one hand, the uh, UNRWA leaders and the UN Secretary General say uh, it's allegations, but they fired them, So, which they didn't do in the past when we brought uh, complaints about incitement of hatred and other crimes. So it seems that, that it's damage control. Look, more than a dozen countries, the leading supporters of this agency, who are their biggest defenders, the United States on Thursday said it's a trusted partner, UNRWA, and they're going to have a central role in post-war Gaza. The United States was the first to freeze funding. Canada, Germany, France, Sweden, countries that have never, ever defunded this agency, they've announced a temporary freeze. Our concern is that this will be reinstated quickly. They want to make this go away. And I want to drill down on, on a point that you just made, because you do have 10 countries who have suspended funding for the agency, which provides aid to 1.7 million Gazans, many caught up in the intense fighting near Khan Yunus. How can people be held accountable while at the same time making sure that those in need aren't used as collateral damage? Well, the, the, the fact is that UNRWA is unable and unwilling to hold its own people accountable. We've seen that over years they at times will just do a slap on the wrist. We cannot trust UNRWA to hold anyone accountable on this issue. They don't even have the powers of criminal prosecution. They said they'd be prosecuted. Who's going to prosecute them? In, in Gaza, the authority is Hamas. Are they going to hand them over to Israel? UNRWA would never do that. There are other UN agencies that can do it. UNRWA is infiltrated with Hamas, and it is just a failure. It needs to be abolished. They cannot be trusted to do it. And we know that you're headed to Congress tomorrow to present new evidence of what you call the poison of hate that has infected thousands within UNRWA. Uh, what are you hoping comes out of that meeting? Look, we're going to uh, present new evidence of a Telegram chat group uh, with 3,000 UNRWA teachers called the UNRWA Telegram uh, Teachers Chat Group. And in it, we found technical information about work schedules and salary payments for UNRWA teachers in Gaza mixed with cheering and celebrations of the massacre of October 7th as it happened. And afterwards, one UNRWA teacher said, who taught these shaheeds, these holy martyrs, to do this incredible stuff? Where did they get their incredible education? We need to replicate it. The fact is that, you know, AOC and other politicians are saying, it's just a few bad apples. You know, it's not the whole agency. It's not a few bad apples. It is, the poison goes right to the core. And so what's the solution? Well, we need to abolish UNRWA. It's a failure. Other UN agencies can do it. Bear in mind that by UNRWA, by the way, it's our taxes. The U.S. gave over $300 million last year. There's, Palestinians are very capable people. We saw what they did with building the tunnels. Sadly, they used their resources for war. They need to use their resources for peace. The international community cannot rely on UNRWA. There are other alternatives that can do the job. Executive Director of UN Watch, Hillel Neuer, we thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. ABC News has reached out to the U.N. for reaction to the U.N. Watch's claims that they had warned the organization for nearly 10 years, flagging that there were problems within the UNRWA organization. We have yet to hear back.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.